Air Force is eliminating Beast Week. That stands for Basic Expeditionary Airmen Skills Training and has been a major part of boot camp since 2006. It gives airmen and airwomen the chance to go on mock deployment exercises, work on security protocols, fight simulated threats. But now the Air Force is replacing the four-day drills with a program called PACER FORGE. That's an acronym. It's long. Let me tell you what it means. It stands for the Primary Agile Combat Employment Range Forward Operations Readiness Generation Exercise. Oh, is that all? They're eliminating days and they're adding lots of words. Uh, the training only lasts for a day and a half. Uh, Colonel Jeff Pixley has been leading basic military training since 2021. He joins us live from Joint Base San Antonio Lackland. Uh, thank you so much, Colonel Pixley, uh, Pixley, for being with us from Texas. I'm happy to be here. Good morning. Good morning. So this week, just to give a broad picture first, China made it clear they want to have the most powerful and largest military in the world, which the U.S. currently has, at a time when another nation like China is challenging our dominance. Is it really best to move and to scale back on military training and requirements? Actually, the, the precise reason we adjusted our beast into the new Pacer Forge is because of the emerging threats that we're seeing out there in the world today. And while the uh, beast week has been shortened and the name has been changed, uh, I can assure everybody that the, uh, the training they're getting is actually better now than it was before. The week prior to when we were in beast before, the week was dominated by what I would call pre-deployment training. When they showed up for the four-day affair, they spent a full two day, days of that training getting ready to deploy, doing things like learning to wear their chemical warfare gear or learning to shoot their M4 rifles. By moving that training to the left in, in our curriculum here at uh, Lackland, uh, we're able to give the trainees a shorter, more intense experience that's focused on actually executing the things they've been training for uh, during their weeks of training prior to deploying to Pace or Forge. Uh, the Air Force has made a transition in the way we think about the future fight uh, with Agile Combat Employment. It's in the name. It's how we're going to fight in the future. And the new construct of Pacer Forge is uh, is meant to prepare airmen to operate in that world, not the world of the uh, global war on terror that dominated Beast. Okay, so it was it was a lot of wear and tear. Do you think it was too debilitating to our soldiers? And this. Uh, updated plan with it being a shorter period of time is going to give them more rapid fire response times? It wasn't that it was debilitating. It, it was a lot of standing around waiting for training to happen. Um, and uh, when I when I have our trainees hitting the ground out at Pacer Forge now, what they're entering today, instead of standing in line waiting to get some training they should have had before they deployed, they're hitting the ground and getting in brief by a simulated deployed commander who's going to give them a, uh, the scenario they're operating in, give them a, a uh, an intelligence update, and then put them into small teams where the trainees will lead themselves through a 36-hour, very intense but trainee-led environment that's meant to put to the test all the skills we've taught them during the previous five weeks of base military training with a focus on teamwork, discipline, uh, and uh, the combat skills that we've introduced them to so we can establish a baseline that's uh, and a foundation that's built upon when they uh, graduate basic training and go off to their technical training. The Heritage Foundation, uh, which annually rates military strength for the first time this year, ranking the U.S. military as weak based on capability and readiness, actually ranking the Air Force as very weak at the bottom of the list due to struggles with pilot production and retention. Now, again, that's according to the Heritage Foundation. They're saying that the U.S. isn't poised to fight on more than one front at a time. Is what we're seeing among today's Air Force uh, potentially a risk to national security? Well, so I won't comment on the Heritage Foundation's analysis. Uh, my focus is on our airmen. They're, they're showing up every weekend. And every week here at Lackland, we, we bring in seven to uh, 900 volunteers from across our country who want to serve our nation. And uh, when they show up here, what they're expecting is to be well-led and well-trained and prepared for whatever environment that uh, that comes their way over their career, whether it's four years or 40 years. And what we are doing with Pacer Forge and our the Air Force's focus on agile common employment and what we call multi-capable airmen is exactly what we need to do to make sure that those airmen are well-trained, well-equipped, and prepared to take on whatever challenges might come. So this is an encouragement that this change has happened, and it sounds like you guys are all for it. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. This is the, the right move at the right time, and uh, we, I was lucky to be here when my team put this together and gave me a chance to uh, watch it uh, unfold. All right, Colonel Jeff Pixley, thank you for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. It was my pleasure to be here. Have a good day. Thank you.
Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.